The whole time I worked at CSAC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back! This is Commander Shepard. And Hill, here, on the Citadel. Alright, we're gonna finish up on the Citadel, hopefully. I think we've spoken to most of the people that we can. Let's head back to the Normandy docks. Now, I was trying to find Garrus, and the best I could find out is that I meet him here. Aha! Uh -huh. I mean, I'm thinking like, oh, is this Garrus? But no. No, Shepard, oh. if you're feeling up to it, I thought we could do something fun for a change. Yes, here we go. So he's right here waiting for us. And no, people, all Turians do not look alike. Shepard, glad you came. What'd you have in mind? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. Hmm. Like alcohol? I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? Somewhere we're not supposed to. Hmm. <laughs> Some things never change, do they? Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? Too busy trying to live. What's yours? The whole time I worked at CSEC, I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Mm. And he counted them all, people. That's the important thing. That's a lot of regulations. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. A little busier than I imagined. How about a dive in the pool? You obviously haven't seen Turian swim. It's a lot of flailing and splashing interrupted by occasional bouts of drowning. You're right. I just have to save your ass again. It'd make up for all the times I pulled your ass out of the fire. Novaria, Pharos, Ilos. We've had a hell of a ride, haven't we, Shepard? And you know, this is what a lot of people that uh, didn't object to the ending of Mass Effect were saying about this, is that basically Mass Effect 3 is just saying goodbye to Shepard. Like, clearly, Garrus is doing now. Not not only to Shepard, but the end of, of life as we know it. And I suppose if you enjoy that kind of a thing, if that type of a story, that type of a narrative, then, you know, I guess it is what it is. But yeah, you can clearly see here that uh, Garrus is preparing for the end. All right, so we've had a hell of a ride. He's going to be paragonic. You're a good friend, Garrus. Times like these, you know who your real friends are. They're not the ones running around looking for an escape route. They're the ones who stand at your side through the worst of it, who never give up on you. I'm lucky I can say I know someone like that. So am I. You're not going to propose marriage now, are you? <laughs> Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're going to settle, once and for all. I'm not saying you don't know how to handle a 
a gun, just saying some of us know how to make it dance. So, let's find out who's really the best shot. There are a few people in the galaxy who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah, but I've actually seen you dance, Shepard. No comment. All right, Vicarian. You're going down. And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Hmm. Step aside. Uh-oh. Miss on purpose. No. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Yeah, well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> That was a nice scene, and, you know, believe it or not, the times that I have played Mass Effect years and years ago, I never got to do this. I don't know why. I mean, Garrus is standing right there as you come through the door, and maybe I never got the email. There is an email that you get that triggers this uh, event, and maybe I just never read it, because that's a lot of email. All right, um... I'm looking for someone, and I think this is you. Is this you, Cortez, Steve? And this is important. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about this character. This conversation is going to save his life. So, you know, if you don't care about him, don't talk to him. But you know what? I want to at least save as many people as I can. You finally made it off to Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkar. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting. Like their families back home. The Turians? Or you? Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. But you weren't. You're alive, and that's a good thing. Maybe so. We must survive. The lives of future generations rest on those Turians' shoulders. On our shoulders. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. And I'm... Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look. No guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. Gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Okay. So, there we've had our conversation with Cortel Cortez. And... The ending of the game... Hopefully, he is going to survive. Have you discovered a way to run FTL okay. without it? I don't think there's anyone else here. No that annoying IGN reporter is gone, so sorry in this playthrough, you don't get to see her. All right, let's get back on board the Normandy and hope we don't have another dream. I'm really hoping. No dream. 
Yes. Alright, let's go. Oh. Okay, is everyone back Damn, from shore leave? Something to shoot right now. Joker? Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for god centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut it anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court martial us after we save the galaxy. <laughs> I'm sure they will. All right, Edie, anything else? What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Okay, let them go about their duties. Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Oh boy. All right, let's go talk to Dr. Chakwas. I hope this isn't about Shepard's health. You know, that really would have been a, a nice subplot to have in Mass Effect 3, that those Cerberus implants somehow were going wrong. And, that, you know, that would have been a way for him to die, you know, fighting through, you know, rejection of the implants or, you know, the implants were taking him over. Who knows? But anyway. You always pull through, Commander. We've received the supplies from Tactus. Everything good? Indeed. We've acquired some very useful equipment. As such, I've been able to enhance the effectiveness of our Medigel delivery systems. I've also collated information that Liara may find of interest. Check with Glyph. Okay, so Metagel upgrade efficiency increase. Let's go. Let's go check with Liara. Sadly, I thought I was going to get bonuses from Caden by talking to him, and that did not happen. Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. All right, what have we got here, Glyph? Intact Reaper weapon. Okay. So, I guess this gives us weapon damage bonus. I'll accept that. Uh, Galay Electronic Signature? What is this? Oh, okay, we already got that. Power Damage Bonus, I'll take that. What is this? Intel and Cybernetic Upgrades? Nothing there. Well, we'll take that. Health bonus, I'll take that. I think we got everything. So look, we, our bonuses are accumulating here. Alright, so. Weapon damage bonus purchased. Did I spend money on this? I don't recall seeing any money being spent. Okay, Liara, anything else that we need to talk about? Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No, not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Hmm, that's for sure. She's talking about banshees. All right, so we got some stuff here. Zaid Masani, they've been uh, monitoring his purchases. Correspondence from Classified Alliance Project staff. And, you know, you can read these if you want. From Jacob Taylor to Bryn Cole. Really? She's been monitoring? Okay. All right. A love letter from Jacob to his girlfriend or fiance, whatever. Greetings, Commander. You want to call her. 
All right, I think we're done talking to people on the ship. I, I feel like I need to go down to engineering because I did pick up something, but it didn't give me any sort of alert or, you know, take this to engineer Adams. Edie doesn't pilot. The Look Normandy. at this though. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before ED even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, ED agrees with me. ED's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. <clears throat> Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, ED agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she is piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring okay, vessel. Okay, so this is ED repeating. I'm looking yeah, for uh, Donnelly. He, he's like invisible. invisible. All right, let's go ahead and talk to See, Engineer ED, Adams. Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So, what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode. Where is Donnelly? This is Adams that I'm... Let's talk Thanks, to Commander. That GX-12 thermal pipe arrived. We're performing the modifications right now. Alright, so yeah, I did pick up a... pipe or whatever. on the thermal modifications. It should be done pretty soon. Picked it up on the Citadel. What's this console? Engineering upgrades. Oh, what? what? Look at all this stuff. Um, oh. So I can re-add these things? The Thanix Magnetic Hydrodynamic Weapon? Oh, you gotta pay for these. <laughs> you can put a shooting range on the Normandy? Wow, this is part of uh, EGM, I'm sure. A mech bay? Not a med bay, people, but a mech bay. All right. Javelin missile battery? That That's one of those uh, side missions from Mass Effect 2 where we had to stop these Javelin missiles from launching. And a German Guard anti-proton injector. Let's uh, get this. And ship defense. Look at this. Uh, can we afford this? We'll get this too. All right. I don't really care about these javelin missiles and the shooting range and stuff, but at least not now. Um, so are these things here? These are all that we've already got on board. Look at that cyclonic barrier. Nice. Helios thruster, Argus planetary scanner. Okay. We've added these things here. All right, I think we're good. Oh, look. The German Guard anti-proton and the ship defense systems. All right, so we've upgraded the Normandy while we've been on shore leave. Let's go back up to the CIC. Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Um, I already met with her, thank you. The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Alright, so to fill out the remainder of this episode, I'm going to go up to the captain's cabin. Well, actually, I should go down to engineering. It'd be better to do our armor upgrades down there. Or, I guess I should say, to the shuttle bay. It's got heart, you know. 
Ah, oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the maker. Okay, so... I hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. I don't think we're going to buy anything. Like oh, hold book. on. Let me check the Spectre requisitions. Are there any... Oh, we looked at these already. It only climbs because of on its the Citadel. vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. And here we have some more upgrades. Hey, with a like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you Crusader, would the Raiders. I don't know which um, <laughs> Service <laughs> Harrier. What? What's so funny? Remember the striker. I cannot remember what gun. What's his name is carrying? Vega. All right, well. I want to say it's the Raider. I can make it the Raider. So we've upgraded the Raider. Now I don't really have much money left. Oh, here we go. Let's wait for these upgrades to apply. Okay, so we have five levels of uh, Raider. Let's see what we can do about this armor set. So if there are any additional boosts because we've picked up a bunch of stuff since uh as we've been playing let's see what is this power damage is this the blood dragon armor don't really like this at all I mean it's very effective though Oh, look at this. No health boost, but shield boost and more power damage. Let's see what else we've got here. Wow, look at the health boost through the roof here. He's not going to wear heavy armor. It's Defender, Marine Officer. Hmm. Some power damage, some... What is this? No power damage. a tremendous health boost though let's see now what is this oh the shoulder guards This gives me more power damage. Right, let's go with that. How about the arms? Oop, no arms. Okay. <laughs> Armax Arsenal. Oh, weapon damage and headshot damage. Okay. Hmm. All right, 
Yeah, we can go with that. Let's see about these legs. Power recharge. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, so... Just, we'll go with this as uh switch it up just a little bit. Lost some power damage, but that's gonna be okay. Oh, I went to the wrong floor, people. Unread messages at your private terminal. Come oh on. boy, here we go. All right, so this tells us about the Thanix Cannon. An update available. Bryn Cole thanking us for all we did to get our group out of the facility on Galax. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man, and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance I fear we may need a little Stay safe. I hope our paths cross again. Okay. Huntresses is is. Your actions at the monastery have proven the value of human special forces to the matriarchs. To that end, they have agreed to send a group of Huntresses is is to the joint N7 command. I hope that your forces will now operate to protect the republics as well. Okay. A sorry squad ready Jacob Taylor Citadel meetup really after we left where are you we're well we're after we're about to leave the crucible project is intense Brent's and the Brennan Bryn and the others are on it around the clock pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital if you've got time want to meet me there things are crazy on Gellix it would be good to see you in a quieter place, you know. Okay, so he is at the hospital now. So I had to get this email in order. Can I just, um... Let me check something out here. Can I go back out the door? You used to be able to in the first Mass Effect. I don't know if they brought that back. Because we are docked at the Citadel. No, I cannot leave. Okay. All right. I just wanted to check that out. All right. Well, we are here at the Citadel. Let's go and talk to Jacob before we head out. All right. Um... Alliance docks. This is crazy. To dock, we have to go through this. We're already docked. The hospital, please. I We're already docked. Yes, Commander. We never left. And that's one thing I, I really enjoyed about Mass Effect. It's like when you dock, you dock, and you, you don't have to go through these cutscenes. All right, so now Jacob is here. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. 
Let's ask how he is. So what's going on with you? You still like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. <laughs> so, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Hackett keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. All right, so let's ask about Dr. Cole. It was interesting to meet Brynn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of having to worry about the colony. And you and her? We're... We're having a baby, Shepard. Wow. Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but... I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Good. Um, yeah, why isn't the baby being named Cinderius? Anyhow, let's ask about the progress on the Crucible. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this Crucible built, Shepard. And then, we'll win this thing. I feel it. Do you feel it? Yeah, sure, I feel it. And I'm counting on you and everyone there. Get it done. Believe it. Oh, what is this, an episode of Naruto? <laughs> All right. Yeah, on that, I should go. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. Take care, Jake. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Yeah. And believe it. Let's go. All right. That now concludes our activities on the Citadel. I think we've talked to everyone we need to. We've kind of said our goodbyes. I really can't believe I missed this. That Garrus was standing right here. Probably because this this Turian here distracted me in my previous playthroughs. I don't know. I really don't. That's that's he's kinda hard to I'd miss. Like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special Alright, let's get on board. And I, we should not have to worry about any dreams. Okay, great. I was worried there that uh, talking to everybody might trigger a dream. Okay, well, I think we're done here with this episode. And when we continue, it's time to rejoin the battle. Shore leave is over, people. It is over. And now it's time for some action. Well, maybe a little diplomacy first. But we'll see in the next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.